there's a growing consciousness amongst people of color in the Americas who likely descend from Israelite origins brought as slaves from Africa. Unfortunately, due to generations of trauma, loss of identity, along with the almost total rejection of this conversation amongst mainstream Jewish spaces, many black Hebrew Israelites get to the wrong conclusions and lash out at the Jewish people. Many people around the world are on a journey to decolonize their identity, but too many are coming from a very colonized Christian framework using mistranslations of mistranslated texts from the King James Bible and arriving to false conclusions that mainstream Jews stole their identity. To those watching this video that have never heard of this, it is a fact that a large percentage of the black slaves sold during the transatlantic slave trade were of Israelite tribes displaced in Africa. Over 20% of the slave trade consisted of Africans capturing ethnic Igbos, which have an ancient tradition that they descend from the tribe of God in what is today called Nigeria and selling them to Europeans. It is not white people that went inland to take black slaves. It was other black African leaders who took certain groups of people in Africa and sold them to the whites on the coast. I mean, think about it. If there was one group to be chosen for enslavement, it fits the pattern that they were mainly from Israelite tribes in Africa, which historically until this day are still being persecuted and killed. Our team is actively working on a documentary series called We Were Never Lost, where we are uncovering and documenting these stories to make us living today the last generation not to know who the lost tribes really were all along. Sometimes, even the most destructive rhetoric always contains a grain of truth. Yes, there is validity that many people of color in North and South America and the Caribbeans have Israelite ancestry. And there is an undeniable movement of return consciousness that is getting these descendants to wake up. 